Bahrain today to be able to make a stand. You can't make a stand. Well, I mean, obviously, if we're talking oil, let's talk um, gold as well. It earlier hit uh, 1431, currently sitting at 1429 right now. I have a feeling that one uh, at 1431, that's a new record. Um, you do you it. keep on? Do you keep on? Do you yes. buy it at these levels? Yes. Do you keep I'm on you, buying? Does I'm going to raise. Keep on yes. going higher? I'm going to raise my price target tonight. Gold. I think that gold is represents the uh, exactly what you should be in. Uh, I've been a gold bug uh, for almost since uh, Mad Money began, and I would reiterate right now that when we came into this year, there were a lot of people who said the streak of 10 years must end. They will be scrambling to buy gold in the end. Gold works here. Interest rates down. That's always a good sign for gold. It's cheaper to buy. You don't have to worry about the yield competition. I think gold is extraordinarily, I know this is going to sound weird, but extraordinarily poised to be able to go up better than every other asset in the world. To where? To where? What are you looking for, Jim? I think you could see 1550 very quickly. I think you could see 2000 within the next 18 months. And I think, again, a lot of this is uh, demand-driven. A lot of it is a recognition that we are, uh, our budget deficit is not that good. I don't want to be too mm -hmm. global about it. But let's just say India, which had a uh, slack demand in January, I think has come back very hard in February. But the most important thing to remember here is, is that they can't find the stuff. I mean, I've been recommending Gold Corp because they've had tremendous luck finding it and bringing it out of the ground at a reasonable price. Right. And, and also because they happen to have a silver byproduct that is really kind of this ma masterful kicker. But everyone must own gold. I think between 10 and 20% of your portfolio should be gold. So Gold and Corp I'm, would be your fave. Gold Corp, you see, I looked up its website and they said they're the lowest cost and fastest growing senior gold producers throughout the Americas. Yeah, this I, is how you would play it? Yes, I had to apologize to the CEO because I had been recommending other gold corporations that, have, that frankly, costs have gone up and fines have not been as... Uh, as bountiful as GG. GG is the preferred way. Now, the GG's management's making it around town. They're starting to really talk. They had been not someone who was at all promotional. I like that because a lot of the Canadian golds, people say, whoa, it's all about promote. These guys aren't. They're, you know, similar profile to like Nico Eagle. Uh, Sean Boyd, the CEO there, does a good job. But it's GG if you want to be in. Remember, GLD took out a tie today, too. So, uh, I, I, look, I can't emphasize enough that gold is your antidote here to what's going on between chaos in Washington, chaos in Middle East. And I say chaos in Washington because when you watch those hearings today, you, you can't really get a, a feel that things are um, uh, under control. If you're, really, if, if, if you're so down on what's going on in Washington and elsewhere and you're so up on gold, then, Jim, um, by extrapolation... Um, you're with, is it with the dollar? Or, you know, are you, are you down on the dollar as well? Well, I like other countries more. I mean, one of the things that I think is really intriguing to me is that why deal with our American banks where after the close every single day we discover that they owe a billion here, a billion there? When you take a look at Toronto Dominion, take a look at Bank of Montreal, really extraordinary quarter. What you're getting with the Canadians, Canadian banks, are you getting a strong currency, resource-based economy with very, very tough lending restrictions. They are precisely poised to take over the world if they want to. Anyone who's been on any time in Latin America knows the Bank of, Bank of uh, Nova Scotia has, uh, Scotia Bank has already made tremendous inroads. But I think that mm -hmm. these are the banks that are in a leadership position, and if you want to play uh, strong currency and resource, look no further than TD, than Bank of Montreal, the Bank of Nova Scotia. Those are great places to be. Sad when we have to go offshore. Uh, Jim, just real quick, I have to ask you for your take on on the Goldman story, the, you know, the SEC charging the former Goldman board member of insider trading. What do you think about this? How, how does it affect the stock beyond today? There's no gaming honesty. One of the things that we've learned in this period is, is that anybody who thinks that they can have a real, uh, you know, just kind of just say, listen, that guy's fine, it doesn't, it doesn't play out. Uh, I, look, there's no real impact on Goldman. However, what does matter with Goldman is it's a financial. And the financials in this country, every day you pick up the paper and you just say, you know what? I can't take it anymore. The headline risk, you've got to be such a masochist. You know, today I went in to try to get a root canal. And uh, I said to myself, geez, you know what? I don't need a root canal. Uh, my travel trust owns some banks. And they do the same thing. And, but no Nova came for the uh, banks. <laughs> You gotta have the Novocaine. You need Novocaine. You need cold. We live in the like, modern world. You know, Bring Marathon Man care. was wrong. It's not safe. Got it. Yep. Thank you very much, Thank Jim. You. And tonight on Mad Money, hot off.